Hi everyone, Deanna here. Thanks so much for being here. Today's video, I am finishing up my September 2022 bullet journal. So this is my final weekly spread for the month of September and I decided to create a, a little picture here on the left side of the page with three little foxes because I have a very fall like theme going on and there was a bit of foxes running throughout this theme so I decided to actually draw some of the foxes myself and I was inspired by a picture that I saw with a very cute little fox all by itself and it looked like it was either yawning or crying or something but it was by itself and I'm gonna go ahead and link what one I saw so that you can check out the original because I always want to cite sources and make sure that you give credit where credit is due but when I was drawing this out myself because I was taking that inspiration and drawing the picture um, my son did not like that the fox was all by himself. He thought that that was very sad that the fox was all alone. So I decided to draw a, another fellow little baby fox. So that could be a baby brother or another a sibling for the fox. And then I drew the mama fox that is hearing the baby yawn or cry out or <laughs> make noise as it just woke up and so she is trying to sleep and has her eye open to look at the mama and I thought that was actually really cute because September very much here in Ontario is back to school so there's a whole lot of babies waking up to go to school and mama's having to get up so I thought that was just kind of a, a cute little theme for that as well so uh, I'm not that experienced with coloring or anything like that and I don't think I'm going to do this very often in my spreads because this is a, a bit of a commitment to take that time to draw it out and then color it in and sometimes it will take away from a bit of the practicality of the spread and of course I want my practicality to be the forerunner of the front runner of this bullet journal so having it so having it as a little bit of something that I do once in a while I think is okay because it's all about balance and just making sure that I'm not taking all my time to just do these more artistic spreads because then that's going to kind of become too much almost for me it's going to become something of constantly trying to draw and figure it out and all of that and I think it could detract a bit from the functionality so it was just something as a cute little design that I thought was cute and like I said something maybe to do every once in a while for my spreads but not all the time so that is what I drew and color I just used as you saw some of the mild liners that I had to color in the different colors with the very fall like kind of warm colors of like the reds and the oranges and things like that so that is what I did there I think it turned out really cute and I think it fits really well with this theme that I have for September so I hope you enjoyed watching that and um, I really hope you enjoyed seeing that kind of come together and as much as this is going to be something that maybe I don't do for every spread I do you know encourage you to try it out every once in a while to maybe have a little bit of fun with your spreads here and there but also be mindful of what are you using your spreads for and if it's something that's maybe detracting from the actual journaling and bullet 
style itself, then maybe you don't need it as well. Or maybe it's just something to do once in a while. It's just a little fun relaxation exercise is pretty much what I did it as. It's just a little relaxing fun of coloring and drawing. So then I took some time here and penciled it out first because it's very important when you're trying to map things out and plan out on your planner, make sure you're penciling it first because you'll see here that I did it a few times till I finally got it to a way that it fit well and I liked it. Now it's kind of interesting that I did it though and drew it and then just erased it all and I didn't just trace over it but I kind of gave myself like a guide of okay if I do it about this big this is how it'll fit. So I went ahead and just used my Tombow hard tip brush pen to go ahead and write out the word September here in just my very fun, pretty calligraphy-like way, and I just had a lot of fun drawing that. And then I realized I was going to put just the dates, the 26th to the 2nd, which is what this week runs, and then I went, wait a minute, you can see me hesitate there for a minute, because I'm like, oh crap, it's not all September, there's October too, so I just did of October. <laughs> To make it all fit in there but there we have it and then I just added some more little details using my sticker pack that I had for my recollections pack and just went ahead and put in some leaves and things like that and then this is the final walkthrough so I hope you enjoyed that little drawing that I did and that final week of the spread and uh, enjoy checking out my bullet journal for the month of September 2022 here. I just have a different spread for each week and I had a lot of fun with it this month with my theme and just learning the different spreads. So if you enjoyed watching, give it a like. I do appreciate and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, night, evening, whatever time it is, wherever you are. Thank you so much for being here. Take care of yourselves, and you will see me next time. Enjoy the rest of the video. Bye!